Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on ways to take advantage of the market given the state of old school RuneScape at the moment. Recently the market has been in an absolutely wild place going up and down and back up and back and no one, no one really knows where it's going and there's been a lot of different factors that have contributed to that. So today I want to go ahead and talk about what my thoughts are as we head into the next week or two. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more like this as soon as I go live, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So for those that aren't aware and don't actively follow the RuneScape marketplace with such a keen eye week over week and always fear about their bank value, as far as how we got here, essentially a few months ago there was this big panic where items were dropping in price and the more items dropped in price, the more people would talk about how much items dropped in price, the more people would get scared, the more people would panic, the more people would sell their items, thus leading to a snowball effect where we raced to the bottom. Jagex saw this happening and to an extent the community was correct. There were things to be worried about and item prices do tend to go down over time. So Jagex stepped in from there and then said that, okay, hey guys, to be able to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to add a 1% tax to the GE. What this is going to do is whenever money is taken out from the tax, that money will then be used to buy the items that were taxed and delete them. So essentially, this is causing an item sink. There's no coins being taken out of the game because those are going to be used to buy up other things, but the items are going to be deleted from the game. And with items being deleted from the game, that means that these items can, you know, have some sort of potential growth going forward. They probably won't go up in price, but they'll maintain their value much better than they were previously. So Jagex stepped in and really made a change that was going to affect the economy in a good way. Once the tax was announced, a lot of people were very excited about this and then went out and started buying more items. And so once people heard about that and started buying more items, of course, that's going to make the prices then start to go back up. And in the background of all of this, Next has been announced for a while now, and Next was going to be coming out soon with some updated rewards. So they changed the drop table a little bit and people were getting really excited. So in addition to the taxation that was coming in that was going to cause items to go up also you had next coming out which is going to cause everyone to want to go out and buy up as many items as they can because no one knows what the meta is going to be for next so there's tons of gear speculation things that you weren't seeing four to five months ago because there was no reason to speculate on gear and no reason to buy gear in hopes of it going up in price but whenever there's a new boss that comes out, people are going to tend to want to buy up all the gear. That way, whenever the boss comes out, they have the apt gear to then be able to go out and utilize it at said boss. So after coming down so far in the market, it then really takes a, a big roar. Everything really starts to go to what has been all-time highs, at least in the last year or two. But how long can that last, you know markets they ebb and flow people get excited the things go up then once that they're at a high people start to get nervous and then they go down it's just the way that markets work so once next had come out and people have gotten their taste of it any items that weren't going to be majorly useful at next are going to tank in price because they don't have the use that many people were anticipating that they would in addition to that even items that are somewhat useful at next will start to go down in price because whenever next initially comes out everyone's going to want to be using those items but what happens one two three weeks later once a lot of the player base has gotten their taste of next and they've they had their fun and now they want to go back to playing the game that they usually are playing so essentially we've had this big run up on prices and now we're seeing a lot of people selling off gear from next or gear that wasn't even useful for next and what do we have coming up this week well released yesterday was the leagues three update Leagues is a way of playing the game in which you are on a totally separate account. You can use your main account, but you're in a different world with different stats and different gear. None of your items translate. And so when that happens, a lot of people have a lot less use for their items in the main game, which makes a ton of sense. If you're not going to be playing the main game, you have less use for those items. So if you want to sell them for whatever reason, maybe you want to go have your character do something else. Maybe you want to fund an alt account so that you can play the alt account while you're doing leagues. Maybe you're just worried that the market might continue to go down, so you want to sell your gear get out on it and maybe buy back later whatever the reason is people are going to have a lot less use for their gear once leagues three is out and so as much as we've seen this big run up on gear prices we're getting to a point where there is a lot of buying opportunity if you're someone that wants to get into the market what i heard while gear was going up in price everyone was like man i wish i would have bought more i wish i could have gotten more while the prices were good and we're back to that point. We're going to be back to the point where prices are at a good buying opportunity. And essentially, now is your time to operate. 
For the price graphs I'll be looking at, I'll be using GE Tracker. They're an affiliate of mine. You can check out the link down below if you'd like. Free to use, but there are upgraded versions that you can pay for if you're really that into flipping and merging and all that jazz. But with that said, let's go ahead and start off with some Bandos Tacit. So, taking a look at their all-time graph, we can see that really the lowest they've been up until this year was about 25 mil on average, and then this year... They took a nice little tank all the way down to a low of 19 mil and then back up and then back down and really their lowest is 19 mil which currently we are at we are at 19 mil because they're really not as useful as the bandos chest plate in terms of converting gear over and so this big run up that we saw we can look here on the yearly scale they got as high as 28 mil and now they've quickly dropped back off and this is a great buying opportunity are they going to then go back up to 28 mil personally i i don't see that happening because they're not as useful as people thought in terms of making torva armor however they're still the best plate leg that you're going to have until Torva plate legs are somewhat affordable to the average person. And even then you have to use Bandos Tacit to be able to get the Torva plate legs. So really they're always still going to be in the mix. And again, when you look at it on this all time scale, I mean, the highest they ever were was 35 mil a couple years ago. And typically they're an item that lingers closer to 30 mil. So being able to buy in at 20 mil, that's, that's a perfect time. I mean, you know, what are the odds that they go to 10 mil sometime soon rather than maybe going back up to 30 mil? I don't see either of them happening, but whenever there's some sort of time where people are excited about PVM again, you know that these are going to go up, at least if it's a melee based event. So I think this graph just shows the opportunity that's available. They're essentially at their all time low. Moving on over to a Dragon Hunter Lance, we can look at the all time prices here. Again, an item that for the longest time was about 80 to 100 mil and then took a nice little drop off to 70 mil where it found a new floor. And then it fell even more. At its all time low, it was 42 mil, 45 mil, somewhere in there. And once the tax was announced, we saw this massive run up. Also, with next being released, and the new crossbow that is released, Vorkath is a lot more important because there are not a lot of dragon bolts that get farmed into the game. So this item is very, very useful and will bring you a lot of money if you kill a lot of Vorkath. And currently you're able to buy this for around 60 mil. So it's closer to this blue line that we see here, but that's not a bad price. I mean, the only time it's ever been cheaper than that was the last six months or so. And that was during a time where there was no tax and there were no item sinks. Now there's item sinks. And so you have to readjust for that. In addition to that, as I mentioned with Vorkat, that's added money and added value that you will get out of the Dragon Hunter Lance for a long time going forward, especially with the new crossbow being out. So this is another great example of an item that's lingering close to the all-time lows, or at least the historical bottom of the graph. And so if it's an item you'd need, I would highly recommend going out and grabbing it. And then the next item up is the Ancestral Rope Kit. This is the entire set, and you can get that for 129 mil the best magic armor in game and keep in mind that there is raids 3 that will be out this year and i'd imagine raids 3 is going to need a combination of all different gear styles so with that there will be a lot of speculation there will be a lot of need for a lot of these different gear that i'm talking about today now i will say i'm currently talking about this on the sunday before leagues come out because i'm going to be on vacation for the first week of leagues going to be visiting family so i won't be here for the dip but you, we can basically guarantee that throughout this week there will be a lot of people selling off gear that they don't need so these prices are probably higher than what you can find during the week especially if you're picky with your spots if you keep in a low ball offer you might be able to hit it and really get yourself a discount on whatever items you need currently another item that is really good as well in my opinion is an amulet of torture currently lingering at 12.5 mil however during next week i believe that you'll be able to get it for between 11 and 12. And sure, that might be a high price compared to its all-time lows, but whenever there's such a big update and in terms of the biggest item sink known to old school RuneScape, you have to readjust. Sure, maybe it was down to 8, 9 mil at times, but if people knew about that item sink that were to be coming into the game, then it would be readjusted up to probably 10 or 11 mil, and then that's its new floor. So buying at 11 to 12 mil is right above the floor in my opinion. If you look at the all-time graph, there's a lot of time where this was a high price item, 15 to 17 to 18 mil at the peak. Keep in mind, a big reason that it dropped off like this is due to gold farmers this year and bots as well, I do believe, because basically I was at Demonic Gorillas and it was much more populated than I could have ever remembered when I went there. And so there are cycles when it comes to gold farmers and bots with Jagex. There will be times that you can kind of see the price just continually go down and down and down. That's because more and more are being farmed in the game. But once they're cleared out, then that allows for it to really kick back up. 
I'm not saying that you can buy it in for 11 to 12 mil and then quickly flip it for 14, 15. This video isn't as much about the quick flips. It's more so the utility that you can get out of this gear. This is the best in slot melee necklace that you can buy for what will be close to 11 and 12 mil, which in my opinion is just right above the floor. So I think that that's a perfect buy. Another item in the same sort of boat is the Sanguinesti staff. Like I mentioned before with Raids 3, there are going to be needs for a lot of different types of armor, maybe even new metas that we've never seen before. And the Sanguinesti staff is one that allows you to be able to essentially heal HP off of your hits, which is very rare in old school RuneScape. And in addition to that, Blood Runes have gone down a lot in price. So with Blood Runes going down, that makes the Sanguinesti staff even that much more useful to be able to go out there and put to work. If we look on a yearly scale, at the beginning of this year, this was a 100 mil weapon, and at its low, it was 45 mil. Now, currently, it's 52, and again, that's, that, what, that's 7 mil more than its low? And given that we know that the item sync is em employed in the game at this point, I mean, that would mean its floor should realistically be 50, 55 mil, so you can buy this at its all-time floor. Now, will it go up? If it has no use and it's not very meta for a lot of places, likely not. But if, it, if this is meta, this is something I could see going from 50 mil to 100 to maybe 150 mil real quick. Stuff like Theater of Blood, it's not very easy if a, if a meta is found to be able to then just go and farm these into the game. These are very rare in terms of if you want to go out and hunt one yourself. So this is a prime example, and all of these have been, of items that I feel like are in this boat where just because they aren't useful for next, people just write them off, when in reality, they have a lot of use and they're close to their floor at the moment, and with the item sinks in place, I think that there's a lot of opportunity, and there will be during this league, to go ahead and pick up some items that you find very useful for yourself, and at the end of the day, you won't end up kicking yourself for buying some of the best in slot items for maybe 50 100 mil as we can see right here for the next hype it got up all the way to 71 mil and then went back down to 48 very very quick and that's just the hype imagine if it would have been useful again I, I think this easily could have reached 100 mil plus so to wind down this video the one key point that i want to nail home is the idea that these pieces of gear they're not necessarily investments if you buy at the low and maybe you sell back at a high at some point yeah you can make some money off of them but at the end of the day gear and old school runescape is not going to be something that trends up over time it's something that you want to buy in at a good point for yourself and be able to put that stuff to use for an endless amount of time there are a lot of items i mentioned today that you could use for years and years in game and maybe they drop 10 percent price maybe they drop you know maybe 20 percent price but is that really that bad when you've been able to use it for years and get a ton of utility from them at the end of the day, it's really about building up your bank to get the most amount of useful gear that you possibly can to be able to put that to use somewhere else and be able to farm more items into the game and make more money for yourself. If you wanted to invest, if you wanted to flip, then there are plenty of other ways that you should be doing that and you really shouldn't even focus too much on the gear market for a long-term store of value. But if you buy in at times like this and you're smart about your money and maybe whenever Raids 3 comes around and your bank's really up there in price, maybe you sell off whatever you're not using and then go skill for a little while. Essentially, when everyone's thinking the same thing and everyone wants to sell off their gear, everyone wants to buy gear, whatever it may be, you should typically do the opposite. If everyone's selling, just hold. If everyone's buying up gear, go ahead and sell off some of your gear and go do some skilling. As long as you're smart about how you work with your money in old school runescape, you'll be fine. Even if your bank goes up or down on a daily basis due to gear changes, you will be fine at the end of the day. But yeah, that is going to be it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this as soon as you go live, make sure to subscribe. If you have any gear advice that you'd like to share with others, would also love to hear it down below in a comment. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace.